let us have summary of the VI relationship for the NMOS transistor. As you can see in the diagram here, here is the transistor with its four terminals, and we will define the voltage VGS to be the voltage from the gate to the source. We will also define VDS to be the voltage from the drain to the source. And we have the voltage from the source to the body to be VSP. Keep in mind that the voltage VSP is the voltage from the source to the body. So there is few notes we would like to describe in the summary. The first one is the gate's current, IG, is always zero. The reason is because the oxide layer at the gate acts as insulator. So let us add more notes about this gate's current. There is important notes about the gate's current we would like to stress as well. In modern technologies, the supply voltage is low. We do that to reduce the consumed power of the circuit. We lower the voltage. So the oxide thickness is small. So that the small voltage at the gate, small VGS, will turn the device on. You see, so we do that for a purpose. We lower the thickness of the oxide layer so that the small VGS can turn the device on. Well, because the thickness is small, then we can say that the gate is not completely insulated and the small leakage current will flow through the gate. That is called tunneling. In this course, we will ignore the tunneling effect and we will assume the gate's current is zero. So, but in modern technology, tunneling will exist. This assumption is valid for first iteration in the design process. The design, to design integrated circuit, you go through several iterations. The first iteration is to use the simple assumptions. So that's what we do. But you must use sophisticated computer simulations to verify the design. So right now, the best simulators we can use are the ones that provided by Synopsys, which is HSPICE, and the other one that provided by Cadence. So these are the two common simulation tools used in the industry, and there is other vendors that supply you with other simulation tools as well. But you must rely on computer simulations. And they are accurate simulators. So basically all what we did so far, we said that the gate's current is zero, although in reality there is leakage current. We will assume it is zero. Now, there is a three operating regions to find the voltage current relationship. The first one is the cutoff region. If the transistor is off, under what condition that's true? If VGS is less than the threshold voltage. We don't have enough voltage to turn the device on. Then we are in the sub-threshold voltage. In the sub-threshold voltage, we will assume the drain current is zero. So if VGS is not greater than the threshold voltage, we will assume ID is zero. But in reality, the drain's current becomes similar to the diode's equation, which is given to us as ID will equal to I0 times E to the VGS over zeta VTH. That is the leakage current from the drain to the source. It's the drain's current in the sub-threshold region. We will ignore this current in this course, but you must count for it if you're designing actual circuit. This current can affect the behavior of the circuit. In the cutoff region, the gate's current is always zero, unless the silicon dioxide breaks down, which means the failure of the device. So you will always assume the gate's current is zero. So this is the first region. The second region is the triad region. If VGS is greater than the threshold voltage, that's condition number one for the triad region. That means the device is on. And VDS is less than VGS minus the threshold voltage. I want you to picture it at the transistor. If VDS is small, smaller than the overdrive voltage, VGS minus threshold voltage. That means VDS, the voltage from the drain to the source, is small. I want you to see that. If this condition occurs, then you are in the triad region. 
then the voltage current relationship becomes as follow id equals to mu n c o x w over l times vgs minus threshold voltage times vds minus one half vds squared so this is the voltage current relationship in the triad region in the deep triad region the id relationship is linear we stressed that earlier that means the transistor can be used as a voltage controlled resistor we called it r on r on is defined as vds over id and that is basically 1 over mu n c o x w over l times vgs minus v threshold voltage this is very interesting property of the transistor in the triad region and we can use the transistor as a voltage controlled resistor this is very important feature of the nmos transistor and the bmos transistor it has similar properties as well so the third region is the saturation region in the saturation region we have to have two conditions vgs is greater than the threshold voltage that means the device is on and vds is bigger than vgs minus the threshold voltage then id will equal to one half mu n c o x w over l times vgs minus v threshold voltage quantity squared times one plus lambda times vds so over here we included the channel modulation effect lambda and what that says is as we increase VDS even more the effective length becomes shorter of the device that means for the same VDS we get higher current because L is smaller so we call that the channel modulation index which means the channel length is modulated or correlated with VDS you must know these relationships this particular slide or this particular part of the lecture is very important basically you have to memorize all these conditions if you're going to be an analog CMOS designer or even digital CMOS designer these are very important rules that we discussed you must memorize these these conditions and you must memorize these equations